Every one of your patients in the trial, their glove looks like this. Yeah. This may not be how you imagined a medical breakthrough, but with the push of a button... Oh, I feel it. These seemingly simple vibrating gloves may be the miracle treatment people with Parkinson's disease have been waiting for. It feels like, almost like, like a wave, so it goes across my fingertips. Researchers at Stanford Medicine developed this unique vibration pattern to reset nerve cells that misfire in the brains of Parkinson's patients, ultimately allowing those with stiff steps to swing into action and transforming others' struggled shuffles into happy dances, all within a matter of weeks. I'd like to come up with treatments that are way less aggressive, but nevertheless really effective. Dr. Peter Tass is the main brain behind the gloves, which he hopes will soon provide an alternative for those who currently have two treatment options, take dozens of medications, or undergo highly invasive brain surgery. While the technology's new, the idea of treating Parkinson's with non-invasive vibrations is more than 100 years old. First thought up by a French neurologist who linked patients' increased mobility to their lengthy and bumpy trips. When his patients came by train, they were to some extent improved. Not their tremors, but the stiffness was to some extent improved. The discovery refined by Dr. Tass and his team, who now have 20 patients taking part in the first round of clinical trials. So far, they say everyone that's used the gloves has seen some improvement. Is it moving for you guys? It really is. We've had many patients cry and hug us, and this is the best thing that's happened to them as they describe it. You must be enjoying every I'm moment. I'm seizing the moment right now. That includes Kanwar Bhutani, who now enjoys leisurely strolls through his Orlando neighborhood, a walk that would have been impossible just four years ago. This is him in 2018 attempting to step through a doorway. Don't fall. So I'm hold it wall. What do you remember about what we're looking at? I was there? shuffling. Uh -huh. I was struggling. You can see my facial expressions. Diagnosed with Parkinson's at just 39 years old, Conwar was eventually bound to a wheelchair and taking 25 different medications to treat his symptoms. But after his very first session wearing the gloves for just four hours, Conwar saw remarkable results. This is after. Look at day, that. Day one. Look at this, the same day. Yeah. Look, you look, got a big look, smile look, on your face. Absolutely. I was in disbelief. When you saw the results on, on Conwar and your other early patients, what did you think? Oh, I was, I was moved. So was Conwar's family, who say the gloves have given them a new lease on life. Just to have the family together and we're sitting on a dinner table together, that in itself has been <laughs> the best. Good news is today I only take two medicines. Two medicines? That's it. You've gone from 25 to two. Correct. And how about your physical mobility? It's perfect. Now the same man who struggled to take even the smallest step is more active than ever. Strong, strong finish. That's him finishing the New York City Marathon just three months after his first treatment. You did it. Since then, he's run in multiple 5Ks and last month competed in his first triathlon. So how does it feel for you now? I mean, walking is nothing. I mean, you're, you're doing triathlons and marathons. It feels great. I yeah. mean, I, I, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it till this day that this is really possible. When you look at the glove, what do you think now? It's changed my life. It's totally changed my life. Transformed me. It gave me the chills to be there with him. And, and I want to mention, by the way, Conwar is able to walk without wearing the gloves. He just was wearing them to show us he's able to do almost anything while he's wearing them. And for Dr. Tass and the team at Stanford Medicine, they say they've had thousands of people already apply for their next trial. They hope to have the gloves approved by the FDA, available for purchase in about two years. It could be wow. transformative. I mean, it looks like it's it like is. miraculous is the word that comes to mind when you see someone who's struggling to walk, then mm. run, basically running down the hall. And you know what they say? It does look miraculous, but it's science. And they continue to study it, you know, and they, and they want to keep moving it forward. And to be clear, no, no drawbacks. Nope. And that's it. So, but you wear them. It's not like you have to wear them every day, and you take them off, and then your symptoms return. You wear them, and then they're you don't want to wear them too much. Is, in fact, is what the doctor said. If you wear them too much, you can become overstimulated. So many of them wear them, and then they advise them take them off take for a little off. while, see how you're feeling, and if you want, put them back on. There are going to be so many people who would love to try this. I mean, it's just a matter of. I hope supply. it changes a lot of lives. Oh, I know. So, well, that was great, man. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Thank so you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.